YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, it's your guy DJ Bishop back with another video. And today I'm reviewing the DSAY Smart Fitness Tracker Wireless Sleep Heart Rate Monitor Active Wristband. So this is kind of like a Fitbit here. I just It just came in the mail today, which is great, perfect. Uh, this will hit you for about $59, okay? Um, so uh, let me show you what it is. That's the Fitband right there. And that's what it looks like. That's how it breaks down. That's just some uh, accurate uh, test heart rate. Just some stuff there. So it's a fitness tracker. Keep track of your daily activities. So your sleep patterns, your steps, your calories, distance. Uh, it's got a USB charger port. It. It's uh, waterproof. You can wear it while washing hands in the rain, but you can't wear it while you're swimming or uh, surfing. Um, it's Bluetooth. Uh, let's see here. Smartphones work for pretty much all of them. So... Um, this is, so this is where you can get it from, right here on Amazon. It just came in today. And for you guys know that you follow me on my YouTube channel, you know I'm am actively uh, engaged in a neutral system. So this is came in the mail today, which is perfect because I did plan on going out to uh, run the track, and this came in so I can give it actually give it a try right now. So this is what it looks like. This is what it comes in. Okay, got the nice fit band, fit band box. That's F1, that says sleep better. It's Bluetooth, running, walking, heart rate, sleeping, you know, the normal stuff. Works with pretty much any phone you have. iPhones, pretty much all of them. Androids, all the Galaxy phones, okay? So you got the daily steps, real-time sports, heart rate, sleep, smart alarm, say call ID display, I like that, that's pretty cool. So it fits size. So the thing is, I'm just hopefully this thing will fit me. Um, let me take the packaging off. Now I am doing this with my hands, so kind of bear with me. I should look at the website while I get this stuff all unboxing. Let me go get the uh, little unboxing knife. I don't have one. I just get the kitchen knife. Sorry about that. I lost you on that video. So I'm back. come with nothing in the box you got this little display here uh, let's see how we get this thing apart I'm sure it has all the uh, okay it breaks apart like that I don't know how we get this out rip it out okay nope we ain't gotta go be small on it kind of unfold it out and let it fall out Man, this thing thing in here good. And of course I'm doing this with one hand, that don't help. Oh, we gonna snap it. I'll snap it like so. Let's pull it out. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's kind of plasticky. I don't know if this is metal. Plasticky, not too bad. Um, kind of flimsy a little bit. So we got some bread on branding on there. They say this I feel like a little rubbery, kind of plastic uh, band. Um, got the heart rate monitor underneath. I think that's the charging port there. Let's see where's all that stuff at. Let's go back to the box. It's probably hidden tucked away in this compartment. There's some stuff up in here. Okay, there's all the charging. Here's the charging. That's some instructions. So got a long, long list of instructions right there. Okay, got a USB plug, and then this must be the uh, thing it fits in to charge itself. Okay, yeah, that's the charger. 
So you plug it in USB right there, slap this in that little in the little case and it charges it up. Okay, let me get this thing powered on my phone and I'll be right back with more video. And then let's see, get this thing cracked up and cracked open and uh, get it going. So I'll be right back, okay? YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, she got DJ Bishop back with the rest of the video here. So I'm back with the uh, Desay Smart Fitness Tracker, the Fit Band. This is it right here. So I'm doing this with my Sony camera, so this is a little different. I'm not using the iPhone right now. So, um, and the reason why is because I got to use the app, show you the app and stuff. So, this is going to be quite a long review. So, for, let me go back and show you again where you can get this from. You get this, pick this up on Amazon, okay? And it's going to hit you for about 59 bucks, okay? It's a smart fitness tracker, wireless sleep, heart rate monitor, active. It's kind of like a Fitbit. So, for those that's familiar with Fitbit, that's kind of what this is, like a Fitbit, like a kind of a cheaper version of a Fitbit okay um, it's compatible with uh, Bluetooth 4.0 Android smartphones IO, iOS 7.0 or later so you can use it with your Android or your iPhones okay HEC ones it pretty much works for everything Galaxy phones whatever it works for everything so it's supposed to calculate your data when you when you when your arms and legs move even though you did not walk or do sports so it's kind of it's supposed to just track everything you do, okay? So, okay, let's go to it. So, let's get to this review here. Uh, let me zoom out, get back to the table. All right, so let's first talk about, now just so you know, in just case if, if I didn't mention this early in the video, because I got two, I had two parts, I did an unboxing kind of thing and then I'm back after I've used it for like two days, okay? So, um, I want to tell you about the product. Um, so, you get it in the box. Basically, you get the, fit, the, the Fitbit tracker thing here. This is it right here. Okay, you get that. And then you get a, uh, a, a, a charger. This thing clicks to the bottom of it. So, it has the... Uh, let me let you look at the bottom of it here. <sighs> this thing, that's the only thing I hate about this. Okay, you got the... Uh, the uh what do you call this thing right here you got the uh info thing to track your heart monitor so if i cover this right here it'll turn green so you can see that and then you charge this thing up you put your charger on there and then you just do it like that and it'll charge it and then you stick this in a usb uh usb uh plug there and it'll just work okay so and it comes in this nice little box comes in this box here so all right, so the size on it is good. I mean, it fits me. Um, it fits me. Now let's talk about the things I do like about it. Um, I do like the the fact that if you get a phone call, this thing vibrates and it gives you a uh, uh, it says something calling. It doesn't say the phone number, but it do let you know somebody's calling you. Okay, so that thing will beep and let you know that somebody's calling. I do like that. Now it tracks your. Uh, let me see. Matter of fact. You get you gotta download an app. Let me let you see the app here real quick. Let me go find that app. So this is the app. It's called uh let me get this thing to work here. It's called Fitbit Band. So when you click on the app, you get all this kind of stuff right here. Okay. So I did 482 steps. I'm 48%. I did more steps than that. Because I did some running today, but I guess it's saying only I only did 40, 4,822 steps, okay. Uh, oh, maybe, hold on, maybe I need to sync it. Hold on a second here. Let me see something here. Let me sync it. Let me sync it real quick. Because I don't think it's synced. Let me sync it real quick here. There we go. Let me sync it real fast. Because I, I, I need this. Oh, still sound? Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. So, 50, 57, 53. So, I'm 57% at my uh, it wants me to do I think like 10,000 steps a day or something like that so I'm halfway there um, so yesterday so this thing yesterday I did 2100 steps and it kinda show you give you a whole percentage and ratings and all that stuff let me zoom in on this a little bit so you can kinda see what's going on here okay so this is the app I'm just showing you the app so uh, it says today 
step targets that was yesterday actually and it tells you um, and this thing is not focusing this is this is driving me nuts okay distance 1.3 uh, kilograms oh, 1.3 miles 203 cal uh, calories is what I burned yesterday okay so let's go to today so today I did 3.4 miles 557 calories and I did 615 of uh, what does that say aerobics so which I went to the gym today so it didn't count I mean I did like eight laps in a pool so I couldn't I couldn't count that because this thing is not waterproof now it's I don't think you can get it wet at all so I don't think it wants you to you get it wet like washing hands or any of that stuff so today I did 500 5753 steps today meaning movement I've been moving around so and it also does your sleep sleep thing right here this was yesterday so I got 50 I don't know if that's an hour I can't See, I, I, I got to tell you about this thing. So it's maybe an hour of deep sleep, four, four hours and 15 minutes of light sleep. And then I was dreaming for 37 minutes. And then I woke up two times. That's kind of cool. So I woke up two times and they kind of show you, you can like mess around with this thing. And it shows you your heart rate. So if you scale around on this little line right here. So let's see, it says... Let's see, I was dreaming the yellow. So this yellow mean this is where I was dreaming at. So let's let's go here and, and move this around to the yellow part. I can't really do it. Oh, hold on. My finger in a way. Okay, so that's when I was dreaming. Can you see that? I was dreaming my heart rate was 93 beats per minute. That's crazy. So I was having a good dream, whatever I was dreaming about. Uh, so if I was in, let's go to deep sleep deep sleep is purple you see that purple back there purple back there let's go to the deep sleep so when I was deep sleep let me see deep sleep was uh, purple my heart rate was 57 57 uh, beats per minute so that means I was just kind of out of it like dead almost and then uh, light sleep my heart rate was like 60 at a nice 60 rate. What's orange? Orange is when I woke up. I woke up twice. Which it probably that's probably not accurate because I was probably asleep, so I was seven. So two about two two oh five I woke up. Now this is cool. I like this. You know, it's something to play around with and, and look at it and, and, and check stuff out. So yeah, you want to do 10,000 steps a day. That's what this thing want me to do. And I'm halfway there. So, you know, I'm not going to get that in today because I'm done for the day. It's, it's 6, it's 6, 14 PM. So I'm done for the day. Now here's the stuff. So that stuff I like, you know, the band is good. You know, you can put the band on, you wear the band. I mean, it stays on your wrist. You just snap it on like that. Hold on. This focus is just driving me absolutely bonkers. And I can't figure out. I mean, sorry, I'm new to this camera. This is my Sony uh, RX4 camera. Uh, I'm going to do a review on this thing, too. This camera is really not for novice people. So if you don't really know how to use a camera, I mean, you probably shouldn't have this because this is not like a point-and-shoot camera. It's more, it's more designed for somebody that kind of know what they're doing. So you just stick the thing on. And, and and that's pretty much it. So I mean, it stays on. It doesn't move around. I do like it a lot. You know, the band is cool. Um, got a little dirt on it. Yeah, the band is cool. Don't seem like it'd get lost. This thing do come out. You could pop that out like so, and put yourself another band on there if you want. I think I guess you can order different colors or whatever. So, um, yeah. So okay, let's get this back on here like that all right so now so those are the things I do like so what does this thing say oh you can wear this while washing your hand you can wear this while washing your hands you can wear this while walking in rain but don't wear it when swimming or surfing <laughs> so you can't submerge it in water but you can you know rinse your hands off real quick all right so that's cool um, 
It keeps track of your daily activities. It does that. It keeps track of your calories. So let's look at some of that stuff. So let's go through it here. Oh man, you probably ain't gonna be able to see this. Hold on, let me get this camera right. Hold on, folks. This focus thing is just driving me absolutely bonkers. It doesn't want to focus on this thing. Hang on, let me get it. Yeah, I don't know how to do the focus on here to make this thing focus. Okay, hold on. Hang on, we're going to get this thing to focus yet. That's kind of why I want to use my iPhone. Because this focus thing is just not working. Okay, we're going to have to do it like that. Okay. All right, so let's focus from there. Jeez, it won't focus up close. Oh man, I gotta learn this camera. Sorry. So, so that is that's it. That's it right there. Let me see. Maybe I can do it like that. Yeah, this thing is not gonna focus. So it tells me I did 500. Wait, I did 561 steps. 50, it's going too fast. 561 calories I burnt. I did uh, 3.5 miles. 3.4. What is that? 3.4. Hold on, I gotta read it. Oh, 3.4. 3.45 miles is what I did. Um, man, I'm so sorry, you guys. That this thing won't. This stupid camera just will not focus. Oh my God, would you focus? Okay, there we go. Jeez. So it shows you that. So if I want to exercise, it does that. It has a little. Now it's telling me to exercise. Wow, this thing is really just giving me the blues right now. Oh, man. This thing just will not focus on this thing that's up front here. And I just don't know what to do here to make this thing focus. Sorry guys. Hold on. Let me get it. Yeah, it's not focusing. <laughs> anyway, I just tell you what it does cuz this camera is just giving me the blues. It's not focusing. Um I can't get this thing to focus for whatever reason when it's get up close. And I don't I don't quite know how to do it. So, normally I do it on my iPhone. Um, matter of fact, I'm just going to pause this video, then I'm going to continue it on my iPhone because I don't need to look at the app anymore. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So <laughs> I'm on my iPhone now because this camera, that Sony camera, man, I just cannot get that thing to focus. And, and it's probably a way to do it, but I'm not so familiar with that camera where I can use it and, and uh, uh, make it work for me. So, uh, yeah. I don't know how to do that, so I gotta practice more on this camera. But anyway, let's look at it now. So this is what it looked like. It's, it's telling me I'm working out. So if I'm gonna exercise, it goes there. My heart rate deal here, it can read that. So if I hold it, it's doing my heart rate right now. I just got my finger on there. So it's doing the heart rate thing now. Or is it doing the heart rate thing? See how it's green? It's still tracking it. I shouldn't have took my finger off it. It's probably not gonna work. Oh, it's still doing it. You gotta be real still. Right, let me put it around my wrist real quick here. Hold on. Not supposed to be moving. 
anyway, I don't know. I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to play around with that. But you've seen a heart rate thing before. It just tells you what the heart rate is in beats per minute. So here's a thing that I don't like about this thing. It is extremely difficult to part this with your phone. Um, it took me... I mean, when you get it out of the box, it does nothing works. So you got to charge it up. So once I charged it up, I just could not figure out how to part. I mean, you, you set it up and it says um, binding. Binding, I guess that's parring. So you click the button and you go binding. First, you got to download. Let me first tell you how to. You got to first download the app. So once you get the app, it'll say a thing on there. You go to settings. It'll say find my uh, uh, phone or something like that. It'll say... Uh, connect it'll say connect connect to device so once you connect to device and then this thing will say binding on it and then your phone's supposed to connect and then you can go to <clears throat> to the next step but forever whatever reason for an hour it kept telling me can't find device can't find device can't find device so I'm like what the heck so I looked at the book instruction manual and instruction manual says uh, um, <clears throat> It says to uh, uh, first make sure the thing is fully charged. So I said, okay, let me make sure the thing is fully charged. Fully charged, I tried it again. Could not find it, could not find it. So one time it was saying binding, and I clicked the little button because it only has one button on it. So that one, I clicked that button, and then it parred, I guess. I'm not sure if it was the button or if it just was in range and it did it. You know, I have no clue <laughs> how I parred it. It just happened. So, um, I, I can't tell you how I did it. So uh, that's the heart rate monitor up right there. You can see it real clear. And then the uh, charging port there. There's no other buttons or nothing else on this thing. Uh, a little brand in there. Okay. Um, so um, so let's look at this. So it, it so the things it do do, it does your daily steps. It does that, it does that, it does that. It got a little alarm, I didn't really try that. And it has this feature where you can find your phone. So you can go click on this thing and you scroll through the little menus and it'll say, find my phone. Wait, it's not on here. Oh, cause I'm not connected, that's why. So since I'm not connected, you don't see the, the Wi-Fi. I mean, the little Bluetooth thing on there cause I don't have it connected cause I'm doing this cause I got it on airplane mode, but Anyway, when you have it on there, you can find your phone. Once you click it, it'll go to that. It'll go to this menu, say, find my phone, and then your phone will start beeping. So if you lose your phone or you set your phone down somewhere and you can't find it, you can do hit this button and it'll start beeping and you can find your phone, okay? <clears throat> All right, so the things I don't like. Number one, it's extremely hard to pair it, pair it up with your, uh, pair it up with your uh, phone. I mean, I luckily did it. I don't know how I did it. I just did it by luck. Second thing I don't like, I cannot get this thing out of military time. Um, I don't know how to get it out. I've looked at the manual. I've went through the menu multiple times. It does not get out of military time. So I don't like military time. I'm not in the military. I don't like trying to figure out what time it is, you know, by military time, because I'm just not a military time or a 24 hour time person. I, I needed to say, Right now it's 626. I need that to say 626, not 1825, you know. That I don't like. So that's a that's a it's not a deal breaker, but that's something I don't like about it. Um which drive me nuts. Uh what the heck is that? So, <clears throat> second thing I don't like about it. Um um let's see, what's the second thing I don't like about it? Uh um uh oh it's not touch screen it's not you know most of these things that you buy is touch screen where you can just do stuff like that and it and it sweep across the uh the deal not touch screen and the second thing i don't like about this thing the uh what do you call it the orientation of it so it tells you to wear it with with the button it tells you to wear it with the button facing up. So I put it on my left, on my right hand, and then when I try to tell the time, it's upside down. The time, you know, the time will go 1826, and it's upside down. So if I turn it this way, it can't, it still be, you know, because they want you to wear the button facing outward, like towards your fingers. 
not towards your wrist. So it has to be worn this way. But then when I look at it, the buttons is up, you know, it's upside down. Now see it ain't doing it right now. But the time normally it goes sideways. So it'll say 18 and 26 will be on the top and it'll be flipped around. And I haven't figured out how to get that right side up. So it's kind of almost pointless to look at it sideways. And then another thing I don't like, now it tells you, you go into your uh, settings on the app and it tells you that you can, uh, you can set the thing to when you raise your arm up, you raise your arm up. As soon as you flick your wrist, this thing's supposed to light up. It's supposed to light up because it's, it's letting you, it's, it's telling the device that you're trying to look at the time. So if I glance, you know, like with a regular watch, you want to do that. You glance at it like that and it should come on. And I've tried that many a times and it doesn't come on. So I almost got to keep pressing the button just to see what time it is. So that thing doesn't work. Um, doesn't work at all. Um, I don't know if it has a gyro or not something and it just, it's supposed to have that to let you know that you're moving your wrist and then you want to turn it sideways so you can see what time it is. Yeah, it doesn't work. So you have to always press the button, you know, to see the time. Uh, so I don't like the, the thing doesn't work on your wrist, right? Uh, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, uh, uh, what do you call it? See, it's going through all this stuff right now. Uh, let me do that again. So 578 steps. I burnt 500 something calories, 57% on my goal. So that's cool. It shows you all I did 3.47 miles. That's kind of dope. Um, but yeah i don't i i don't know i mean compared to other fitbits or other like workout type devices i don't own a fitbit so i don't know how those work or i don't own like the microsoft fit band or the galaxy uh band that fit band they have i don't own any of those bands so i don't really i can't really compare them all i did was i went and watched a bunch of youtube videos to look at them and see how those things work compared to this thing and they all seem to work a, a whole lot better you know compared to this even the ones that don't have the the the, the uh, LED screen the computer I mean the, the the real good screens the ones like I think see how that see how that's like that you just saw that right and that's upside down because the button is facing out that way so that time it, it clicks upside down so I could barely get that to come on and it just come on every now and again by itself so um, it's supposed to go with the flick of the wrist but that hasn't been working out so um, anyway uh, I mean, I've been it's been wearing it for like two days now, so it's been two days of standby time. I haven't had any time any problems with it uh, running out of battery. It's just the features that don't. It doesn't have any features, you know. It does have the caller ID when somebody calls. It says calling. That's kind of cool. It doesn't display a name across the thing, so you can know who's calling or a phone number. I wish it would do that. Show you. It says call ID display. Um, that's not accurate. It just says call. It's call ID to me means it's gonna show you the phone number or the person's name, you know. It's gonna show you those things, but this doesn't show you those things. All the thing it shows you is it says call it across the screen. So um, I don't know. This thing is missing a lot of features for what I would need it for. You know, it definitely has to tell me uh, the right time, not military time. That's a problem. I don't like that. And then uh, you know, it doesn't react to my wrist when I move it up and down. That's a problem. It's very hard to par to a phone. That's a problem. Um, what else? A couple other things. I mean, so I'm going to rate this. I'm going to give it a three. A three is not bad. I mean, I'm going to give it three because it does what it's supposed to do. It just doesn't do it well, if that makes sense. You know, it doesn't do it well. So I'm going to give it, you know, out of five, I'm going to give it a three stars. I'm not giving it a four or a five because it's not a good device. I mean, it's it's decent, it's cheap, it's 59 bucks, so it's cheaper than some of the other devices out there, but this doesn't work well. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do well. It, it, you know, once you get it going, it works a little bit, but it's still difficult to use. So most people probably get frustrated and not use it, which kind of like myself, but this is the only one I got, so I'm gonna probably work with it and, and keep it going and keep playing with it. But once I get money to buy another one, I'm going to probably be done with this one. So, um, so I just kind of let you know. So if you want to buy it for a kid, maybe like, you know, like a teenager or something like that, and this, this will get them started and working out, this would be kind of cool for them. But most of them, most kids are going to want the, the best thing. So they're going to probably want that Samsung 
or that Microsoft Band because those are pretty cool. They got a color screen on there and it's touch sensitive. You can put pictures, you get notifications from apps and stuff like that. You don't get any notifications from any type of apps on this thing here. So the only thing you can do is track your steps, track your exercise, you get your heart rate and your sleep break. And all that's all done automatically. Well, you gotta when you exercise, you gotta put it on exercise. Heart rate, you gotta track that. And then sleep, it does it by itself because you set it up on your app. It's actually what time you go to bed and you tell them, hey, I go to bed at 10 o'clock and I wake up at 6 in the morning. So it'll automatically go to sleep mode at 10 o'clock and then wake up at 6. So then it'll track you from, now if you go to bed at 12 and you told the thing you go to bed at 10, it's going to mess it all up. So that's why I think it had me uh, 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 wake at wake up time at 10 o'clock because I wasn't in bed last night till like 12 o'clock. So. But anyway, I'm going to give this uh, three three fat fingers, three all day on this one, uh, which is average. It's basic. It works. It does. It works. So let's do that. Let's just say it works. But it doesn't work well. Um, but it works. So if you're getting this for a kid or something like that, this will be okay. But anyway, thanks for watching my review. I know this was a long review, um, but uh, I'm just trying to you know help you out here. So if you want to go grab this, this is where you can get it from. Right here on um, Amazon, $59. Um, they got one review on there. I'm going to make it two. So I'm going to put a review on here too. So it'll be two reviews on there. Because it's a new product, some new company just coming out trying to get into the Fit Band. Uh, it's made in China, right here. Uh, you get black, red, blue. And that's the price. I mean, that's not the real price, it's the Chinese price. Uh, I forgot how much that would be. Uh, I guess it's 59 bucks. Because I just left China last year, was over there so for a while. So anyway, but this is it. So if you want to get this just to get started, get your feet wet in the Fit Band, in the Fit Band market, this is probably one you could try out for fifty nine bucks. Um, check it out, and uh, maybe let me know. Drop a comment or something on on my YouTube page because uh, I'm gonna have this review on YouTube, and I'm also gonna have this review on Amazon. My Amazon, my YouTube page is DJ. Bishop and that's D-E-E-J-A-Y Bishop. So make sure you go by there, check out other reviews of other products. Um, anyway, so let's get back to it. Uh, three fat fingers, which is average. And then um, that's it. So thanks for watching my video. Fit band, baby. Uh...